It's hashtag TBT. And for Throwback Thursday this week, we are heading back to Fort Lupton, Colorado for part three of a special behind-the-scenes tour of the now-defunct Colorado rail car manufacturing shops filmed by museum volunteer Michael McBride in February of 2003. The windows, now this is, can you all hear me down there? Yeah. Okay. This is a very unique car. I started telling you about how we had the super domes and then we sold our company to Princess and we built them the ultra domes. <clears throat> Other companies came into the Alaska market and they said, well, we want to be better than an ultra dome. What can we do? Well, the ultra dome started out being 17 feet tall. Then they got to be 17 five tall. And then our CCL came along and said, just how tall can we build one? Checked with the Alaska Railroad and they said, 18-1. We'll take them one, 18 one. We get eight of them for at 18-1. Here's the newest customer, the last guy to build up there, the big other big guys, Holland America. Well, we've already built as tall as we can build, that we can build. So what did we build for Holland America to make them bigger and better? This car is 90 feet long instead of 85 feet long. So it's always trying to make it better. We can't build wider because, you know, when these cars go through a curve, they really start hanging out in the middle of that curve. So, you know, 10 foot's going to be about it. I was in Russia a couple of years ago at a construction plant building cars. <clears throat> it's amazing what another two feet inside of a rail car. They built cars 12 feet wide. And we're in the second step of construction. You can see they've started putting in all the, the um, vapor barriers and insulation in the walls. Stairwell is in, second section's on top, floor section is in, you can see all the outriggers coming out. Okay? So it's the second step. <laughs> and this is an open vestibule down here. Do you have any home movies or photographs that feature the Colorado Railroad Museum, the museum's equipment, or Colorado Railroads in general? We'd love to share them. Contact the Colorado Railroad Museum's Multimedia Coordinator at M-A-T-T-H-E-W at C-R-R-M dot O-R-G. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Commenting and sharing in particular may qualify as virtual engagements for important funding programs like the SCFD.